Hello and welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack Tuxbury. He's Tay Tay. Yeah. And this is the new MV7 from Shaw. We're lucky enough to get our hands on it before the day of release, so you'll probably see this when it's just come out. Uh, I know nothing about it. Read the box, some interesting things. We're going to try demo some of the features and also compare it to the SM7B, the stalwart that you might have seen around the world on all the podcasts and everything, and the Aston Stealth. Reason being is that to us, we thought maybe it's a affordable SM7, so we want to see what the differences are because this is less in price. Check the price below. And it'll be competitively in the same arena as the Stealth. So hopefully these comparisons help you. We're going to hear it on spoken word. Pickled. We're going to sing into it. Ah. We're going to hit a snare drum. We're going to do a bass cab. And we're going to do a guitar cab. All the things we'd use an SM7 for and or any type of dynamic microphone like this. Let's get into the video. You're now hearing me through the MV7. It's marketed as a podcast microphone. So in this first test, we're going to do some spoken word comparisons. Uh, we're Just to let you know what we're plugged into, we're going into an Apollo 8P from Universal Audio, and we're using the API Unison Mic Pre. We're going to have the same gain settings on all of the mics, but we're going to match the volume in post. So hopefully you can hear the difference. Uh, on this spoken word test, I'm going to do a plosive type sentence and then we'll do a kind of silly sentence so you can hear the difference in the spoken word. I'm going to try keep a hands. I mean, of course, it's got to be dodgy where I put my hand. I'm going to keep about the same distance away so you can hear that, okay? First sentence. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. The arsonist had oddly shaped feet. The arsonist had oddly shaped feet. The arsonist had oddly shaped feet. Next up, some singing. Starting off with the MV7. Apologies for what's about to take place. Again, we're a hand width away. I'm going to sing the same line into all three. Here we go. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. After vocals, I'd say the next most common use, Taylor, this is Taylor, by the way, who films everything, would be for a dynamic microphone would be on a snare drum or anything loud and percussive. So instead of making a fool of myself, which you might see in an outtake. I'm going to pass the sticks to Taylor and you're going to do some single stroke stuff and rim shots. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it, brother. Thank you. 
Done some dodgy bass, next up guitar and thanks to the wonders of the Southwestern Railway system we have Marcus Prescard here and he's going to play a bit of chord stuff and a bit of lead stuff and then we're going to swap the microphones out, fist pump Marcus. Hit it! So you've heard the microphone, the MV7, in all those different settings. I wanted to bring up the fact that it does have a USB connection on the back. And once you've plugged that USB connection in, it opens up some other features. Uh, I'm sure other people will do some videos on it. Uh, just to let you know what it does, it can separate your voice from the background noise. It also enables this touch strip for adjusting the gain on there because it's got a built-in mic preamp. The USB being an audio interface. Um, and because it's an audio interface, they've got a headphone jack on it, so you can monitor yourself. So if you don't have an audio interface, and you're looking at just doing podcasting or just miking up an instrument, this is the whole deal in here. But hopefully you'll forgive us for understanding that's very hard to compare against other microphones. Right, if you like what we're doing, consider subscribing. If you don't, let us know. We learn from the hate, and thanks for watching.